name is James Sabalski from way up here high, set to bring you all the action. This has been played out in driveways, dead ends, back alleys, game seven. This is it. I was wondering where else you played. This is it. This is the most important game these guys likely will ever play. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dot. The quest for Lord Stanley's mug continues right here tonight, and we are underway. Made the save on the play. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Hammers a shot! Denies him on the slapper! Yemlin's got it through center. Nice pass. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Grabs him with the glove. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? And he slides it quickly to Granlin. Quick shot. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Winds up from the point. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck to his chest. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Shuts him down. Olmsk's got possession of the puck. Sends it down low. The Russians played along the wing. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Oh, it stops him again. He's got to work hard to find the puck through all the bodies right in front of him. The Russians gain possession along the wall. His reflexes on display tonight. The coaches are pumped to see this kind of offensive zone four check. They want more of it. Too much congestion in front. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. The game is still scoreless. Oh, that's got the crowd buzzing after that stop. We got a penalty coming up here. Here's a chance to take advantage with the delayed penalty. They've got the extra attacker on the ice. Wrong place, wrong time, I guess. Sometimes you gotta say, I'm in the wrong spot and let the guy go, but he tried to help out and he gets nabbed for interference. Ufa sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. You kind of muddle along in a 0-0 game and now you got a real chance to break that score open. A first power play for them. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. From behind the net, looks to break out. Olmsk's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Pad save, he's on it tonight. Takes control of the puck. I'd like to see him be a little bit more direct on the entry into the zone. They haven't got set up, and as a result, they don't really have a shot yet on this power play. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with... Slides the puck ahead to Heavy Bullen. And now it's grabbed by Granlin. Here he is in front! Oh, that hits the cage! That's using your head. Uh, I don't think he's trying to do... Scores! It's in the back of the net! A quick flick of the wrist, and that snapshot beats the goaltender. He's in the low slot. He doesn't have much time to think about it. The Russians are now in the enviable position of playing in front. Once you get in front, you can maybe dictate a little bit about the way the game will be played, and that's a good place to be. Takes the feed. Kuhlman's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, it goes right up the post. Ufa's lead will stay the same. That's a really good chance that just by an inch or so hits the post and stays out. Knight's got it to the side. Slides it back to the blue line. Oh, what a stop. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down.
Great pass on the left wing up the middle now. And that's broken up. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Turn that chance aside. They work the puck into a scoring spot, get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. And that's knocked away by Knight. Across the line from center. Let's it fly. Oh, that'll get the fans on their feet. What a stop with the glove. Olmst's got it, and they're on the attack. And a great save. Well, that'll do it for an entertaining opening 20 minutes of hockey as the horn sounds. Ufa's got a 1-0 lead and well-deserved based on how they played at both ends of the ice. As both teams get a breather here in this first intermission, we'll do the same and get ready for period number two. are back at center ice and we are ready to get period number two underway. Olmst won the draw. Here's a short pass to Knight. Steps across the blue line. Olmst's got the puck against the boards. Takes the pass. And he makes the easy save. They're working really hard these days to make sure when they stop the puck, it doesn't stay in front of them. If they can't stop it and catch it, they want that puck in the corner. Knight's got it along the wing. Handles the puck at the point. Makes the save on the slapper. Driving right to the front. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Gets a glove on it to make the save. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. And things start to wrap. There it is! He scores! All over the rebound! And he taps it in! Quick shot on the first attempt, but that rebound came right back to him. And he's able to settle it and put it into the net before anyone else can stop him. ufa has got an insurance marker here. They now lead by two in the second. Don't back off, though. Keep pushing ahead. Play the game in the offensive half of the ice. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Olmst's got possession here in their own end. And they failed to go tape to tape. Tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. Here comes the sentence. The Russians have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. His stick gets in between his feet, and when the player goes down, the penalty's going to be called. Send their man advantage unit out once more. Hey, it doesn't really matter what the power play's done before you. You gotta have a short memory. What you have now is a power play right in front of you. Make sure you're focused in on what you're trying to accomplish. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Nice zone entry from the left. A howitzer! And that goes! It's in! He scores! I think, I think he knocked it in! Yeah, he did. He's Fishing around trying to find it, and he ends up pushing it back into his own net. Now that's got to make him feel sick. He ends up depositing the puck into his own net. to center ice and now it is just a deficit of one what a difference just the one goal makes in the way that you look at the game what makes you think is possible they only need one more to even this 
pass up. And reads the play perfectly and picks off the pass. Oves has got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Here he is in close. Scores! Man, it can be deflating if your power play stinks. When your power play does score, everybody grabs a little bit of energy. Oh, that penalty really cost them. They're shorthanded. They could never clear the zone under all kinds of pressure. And finally, the penalty killers crack. They give up the power play goal. Ufa's now up by two in the second. They worked hard to push this lead from one to two. I like the way that they've been playing. Olsk won the draw in the neutral zone. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Ufa's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. The Russians win the draw. Stopped by the goaltender. Hammers a shot. Oh, the glove save. Where'd that come from? Here's a chance. Oh, wow. Stops again. So good. A couple of quick stops keep the puck out. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. Made the stop on the play. Skates to the crease. He scores! On a little pop left on the play. One back late in the second. How does that change things now, Ray? From their bench, it seems like they're pretty excited. They jumped up, they're loud, they're ready to go as they try to find the equalizer. The feed. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Oops, it's gonna play it from the corner. Wrists one! He scores! This is like the hockey equivalent of a buzzer beater, Ray. Yeah, it didn't look like there was going to be enough time to pop in the net. And now they feel really good about themselves going into the next period. I can't imagine they thought this was even possible. They played so poorly early in the game. They've worked their way all the way back to tie the score. Oops, to even things up here in the late stages of this second period. Working to get this game back to square has not been an easy road, but now it's a short game as we enter the last little bit of the second period. Well, not exactly a banner night for the goaltenders as the second period comes to an end. At least they'll get a breather here. The third period is just around the corner. Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment. James Samolski, Ray Ferraro ready to bring you all the action. Period number three is set to get underway. Third period, we are all tied up. And the next goal could be a biggie. Here's a shot. Uh-uh. No, it's in. It's in. Looks like he had it, but not the case. Now, what a tough break for the goaltender. This thing's just shoveled towards the net somehow. And as it's bouncing around, the goalie can't track it, can't keep his body in front of it. Now he's got to fish it out from behind him. Oop, 
Tampa's coaches look pretty active on the bench there, Ray. What are you hearing? Well, they're happy that they've got the lead, but they want to make sure that nobody sits back to defend. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Gains the zone through center. Along the half wall with the puck. Tees it up from the blue line. He was totally locked in on that play. Granlin's sure been fun to watch tonight. He's got three points in the game already. Takes the pass. He got all of that one. Here's a chance. Big time stop there. Scores! One thing to score in the regular season. Now you get to where the money's all sitting there. The playoff games are super intense, and he's on the board. Oh, that's got a stink. He stopped most of this shot but it's still got enough velocity to go into the net. Olmes made this one a fun one for the stretch drive, all evened up in the third. It's never easy chasing the game. They've found a way to get the equalizer and now shorten the game right out. And not much on that one. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Olves has got it along the wall. From behind the net. Takes the feed at the point. Here's a chance right in the slot. And a penalty coming up as the official blows the play dead. Now uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Olmsk's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, the power play gets to dust itself off here. First opportunity tonight. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Olmsk moving it into the offensive end. Hangs on to the oh. puck. Scores! And a little flex with the main advantage. Puts them in front. Well, this game is ground along in a tie score here. And you get a power play. You've got a chance to get an upper hand. And they do. They execute it perfectly. And now they have the lead. The power play cashes in. They move the puck around and get the puck right into the middle of the slot. He makes no mistake from there. Olmsk's oh, got the one goal lead here in this third period. What's the strategy now in your mind, Coach? I don't think you change at all. I, I also don't know in today's game how you defend or be conservative. You're just inviting trouble to do that. speed in the offensive end. Dead eyes them on the play. Here they come on the attack. The Russians carry it along the wall. Back to the point it goes. Moves the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Has won the faceoff. Slides the puck over. And that one stopped. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Takes the feet at the back end. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Here's a short pass to Kuhleman. Some guys shy away at this time. Others, James, they lock right in. That's when the game is most tight, when it's right on the line and everything that you do is under the microscope. And that's knocked away by Knight. Sends the cross ice pass. Upa's got it into the offensive zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Upa's goalie is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. 
A shot at the empty net. Scores into the empty net. They just would not be denied. No, tonight has been their night, and with the lead, they defend it well and put it away on this empty net. Now that empty netter should wrap this up here. We're in the last little bit of the third period. That should be enough. Olmsts added to their lead with the empty netter and Ray, that's pretty much all she wrote, I would say. Well, you grind away to get the lead through this much of the game and they pull the goalie, they're gonna pressure you. You put it away with a easy one into the empty net. Another strong team effort, and they'll continue to play on in the next round. Blocker save, and he's showing up big time tonight. And it is over. Well, there it is. I guess in this sort of scenario, Ray, when you win that clinch out game, it's just a simple case of breathing or an exhale here, right? Time to relax. You're happy that you get to go on, and you don't want to extend it any more than it is. Ray's seen a lot of pats on the back to go along with the handshakes here. They seem empathetic. Well, there's not really anything profound to say other than good series, good work, but the winning team understands what the other side's like, too. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us tonight.